How you been? Good, good, good. You ready to get on the road? Uh, yeah, hopefully soon. <laughs> if I can get Man. my act together. All right, cool. <laughs> we'll check those fuses out real quick and see what we got. All right, buddy. Awesome, awesome. I love it. Going on vacation all the time. Really? Tired, having fun. It feels so good. It's, it's just rides like, rides like a car. And he's done a great job on it. Uh, so, so you're saying that what's happening is you've got an outlet that's... Uh, yeah. These two up front. Yeah, I like the wheels. How you like them, huh? Yeah. Man, it looks... You don't have any rubbing or anything? Nothing, no. It's a K2. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, the K3 doesn't come out, doesn't come out till uh, middle of the next So, uh, see, I push that, that that red button. Okay. It, it won't come on. Okay. And I try to test it with the black one, you know, a couple of times. Okay, yeah. I'll look at them right now. Yeah. I know you like uh, antique stuff. Oh, I love vintage, anything vintage. So this is for you. I've had this for 45 years. This, that's not oh, the box. Wow. That's not the box. So you open it like that. Okay. Come boxing with me. So, yeah, pull it out. Oh man, this is a clock it's radio. A, it's, a, it's a radio. Man, it's that is radio. cool. That yeah. is cool, Max. Really? Holy smokes, yeah. dude, that is so cool. Uh, uh, wow. Dude, look. But you just have to, uh, you know, kind of a. Man. It's only AM. You know that. Man, you know, I was just looking yesterday at a TV that really? was from the fifties. Yeah. yeah. And it has this. Same, it has a man, Max. Really? Thanks, man. That's, That's so cool. cool. You know, yeah. So, you know, I like vintage got, stuff. And it's got the schematic and everything, just in case if, wow. if a bulb goes out, because it has. These are bulbs. You know that. These are the transistors. Oh wow. So if if any one of them goes out, all you gotta do is just look at the schematic. Man, look at this, uh, yeah. Eduardo. Hey, Mark, Max how got you me. doing? What's up? How you doing, man? It's good to see you again, man. <coughs> Look where Max got me. OG radio? Yeah. Hey, how's it going, buddy? How Look, you doing? And it's got the... Dang. He said he knew I like vintage stuff. I was like, so, yeah. That was dope. That <laughs> is cool. cool, man. Yeah. Where'd you that get that? so cool. I've had it for 45 years. Jeez. Man, Max, that is so cool, man. <laughs> That's a, you know, he, li he likes, uh, um, you know, antique stuff and... Man, that is so cool, man. I hope you like it. Really. Oh, man, I like it. That, yeah. You know, it's hard. It's funny because my wife always complains. She never knows what to get me and this and that. Because, I mean, anything, you know, what, what's, yeah. in, what's important? But there's stuff that you can't get. Yeah, exactly. You can't get this. Like, yeah. you can't, you can't get it. Like that, I can't. You can't go and just buy one of those. You know. Yeah, I always so look you, at this way. I said, can you imagine the, you know, 50, 60 years ago when the man went to the moon, people sat by this radio and listened to it, you know, listen to the history. The you man, know. That is so cool, man. That is so cool. You know, my father-in-law knows the technology and everything on the yeah. boat because he was a TV repairman back yeah. when you repaired TVs. And uh, so he knows, I'm gonna go put in my band so I don't get it. He knows the, the TVs. I'll grab my keys. Well, I'm Man, glad you like that it. Is, that is so cool. You must really like Mr. Lopez, huh? Oh uh, yeah, he's, you know, he's really worked hard on my, my band. He really did. So I'm glad he likes it. So Eduardo, how you been? Busy? Busy as always. Yeah. You, you know how it is. I know. Where are you going? Hopefully, uh, 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 Arkansas, Arkansas, then Oklahoma. Get the big old trees in Arkansas. Yeah, yeah, I love to be in, you know. It's a beautiful space. Yeah, and it I got me. It's nice this time of, the time of year, too. Oh, it is. It's it nice. is, yeah. Never been to Arkansas, so I want to go. Well, I've never been, but my yeah. brother has. They say it's beautiful. Yeah, he says it's kind of crazy because you see nothing but trees. Yeah. Non-stop on the road. So it's like, and those are big uh, redwoods? 
No. I don't know. I don't know what they yeah, have. I but... don't know what they have. But he, I remember he was like, man, I was driving down those roads and all I saw was trees for miles. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, man. Yeah, it's got, uh, I mean, it's so green, it's unbelievable. That's awesome. Yeah. Man, yeah. man. It's so crazy you brought that because yeah. last night I was looking at an older TV. Really? And, and on there it said the TV didn't work, of course, you know, it's from 52 or 53. Yeah. But I was like, man, it'd just be cool. I was just like, I don't know where I'd put it. And my wife, she was like, what are you doing? I was like, because our TV broke last night. So yeah. I went and I got a TV. You can get a TV now for 200 bucks. Yeah. You know, brand new. It was 55. Yeah. It's nothing anymore. It's not... It's not the same thing as it used to be. No. It, it, everybody was. Yeah. And so, like, I saw that 50s TV, and I and I saved it on my Facebook stuff. And I was like, man, it's like if I ever get a place that I was kind of, but that's perfect because you can literally use it. Like, yeah. I, that's going straight to my office. That's it. Like, that's cool. Like, that's good. you that's just an can't eye, get it. Yeah, that's an eye catcher, you know. Yeah. I don't even. I don't care if anybody else sees it. It's me seeing it. Exactly. Know? Well, I'm glad you like it, man. Could you tell me about your life story? Like, how did you get here to this point? Well, um, I worked for a good company mm -hmm. um, for 35 years, and um, I did pretty good. So I put my head into job and work and all that. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, um, you know, I stick with the job for 35 years. And after my wife passed away, so. I said, it's time to, you know, enjoy this life after, you know, 40 years of marriage. Um, I couldn't sit at home. I, it's been, it's going to be three years uh, since she passed. But um, uh, I mourned for about almost three years. She came to my dream and she said, you need, you need to get on with your life. So I'm trying to enjoy this life if I can. I'm hoping to uh, start traveling, going towards uh, California. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not a full-time uh, traveler, just part-time. You know, it's only me and my dog, and uh, he um, he likes to be on the road. But after about a month, he gets tired. <laughs> yeah. He said, "Take me home." So. I love Texas, so I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> so whenever you're traveling, what what's your favorite part about traveling? Like, do you like to eat? It's, uh, well, the road. You like the, the road? road? Yeah, it's just something about the road, you know. And being out in uh, nature is just... If, if you could, would you go back and travel earlier? If I could go back, be younger, I would not work that hard in my life. Put this on you, Max. I wouldn't work that hard. You wouldn't work that hard? No, because life is too short. Um, I've watched so many uh, YouTube videos of these young people, you know, getting on the road and enjoying their life. Because me and my wife, we work so hard, and uh, before she knows, she got canceled. Mm -hmm. And right when she, we wanted to enjoy life, this was supposed to be ours, you know, supposed to be our uh, enjoyment. But after she got cancer, it just dawned on me, life is too short, you know. You mm -hmm. never know what tomorrow is holding for you. So enjoy your life while you can. Are you enjoying it right now? Traveling? I'm trying, but I miss her so much, you know. It's, it's, it's just, like you love her, man. Yeah. I, I really do. We were together for 40 years, man. 40 years. When we were a teenager. When you were a teenager? Yeah. But, um, you know, so. Well, hey, you're experiencing this for her, you know? Yeah. You know, working is good, but people, they get so, you know, wind up and work, work, work. They never enjoy life. Mr. Max, can I give you a hug? Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> hey, man. Yeah, appreciate it. So I'm showing that this has power here. Really? Look so look. LEDs burned out, huh? Look. So that one has power. I'm gonna go around. No. I plugged in a, a, a fan, a small okay. fan with a cigarette lighter. Okay. Do you have something else we can try it with? 
Yeah, because this is how I test. You have to work. Is that LED on it? Yeah. Well, if it's got LED, there's probably the fans on back then. Do you have something else in here we can test it with that you may use on a different. No. Different no, one? I have at home. Yeah, because look, see this, see this light? Yeah. So look, when I put it on. Okay, so that one. Okay, that's cool. So, did it touch it? Yeah. You burned it? <laughs> yeah. Dang. I burned out my LED. Well, now it did. I just tripped. Now, it's, now it does have a flown fuse because I just tripped it with the thing. So, yeah, now it's now it burned out the, what about the fuse the back there. So I'm gonna have to replace the fuse anyways because okay. I just tripped it with uh, when I touched it on the metal. I'm going to Oklahoma. Then I'm gonna go towards Colorado, then Utah, then California. Oh man, so where are you planning in Utah? Are you see, gonna do see, like Zion? When you, retire, when you retire, there is no plan. <laughs> <laughs> you just go by wherever the wind takes you. There you go, you know? man, that's cool. So yes. let me ask you this. Yeah. Have you bought a tracking device? I have uh, one of those Apple tracking devices. Okay, but no for you. So what, what it is, is you can, I'll send it to you, but what it does is it has a signal, okay? You, you have it and basically like uh, I have the app. So like my buddy, when he went on the sailboat, <clears throat> he went on the sailboat and he gave me the login. Uh -huh. So I tracked him and basically I could see him where he was in the ocean. That way something is that happened. Isn't the one that you put in on the Spot. front? Spot. You already installed it. Mm, is it? Did yeah, you? let me show it to you where okay. it is. Okay, well, if, if that's it, that might be it. Yeah, that's the tracking one, but you have to, you say you have to sign up. Yeah, you it. have to sign So you need to do that. Okay. That way you can give, so say you're gone and I say, hey, Max, how you doing? You don't respond. Or if you get in trouble, you can hit, you can hit the button and it'll send out a signal and they'll come get you. Because what if you get out there yeah, you blow a tire. What if you blow two tires? I got me a, a Starlink. <laughs> I got me a Starlink about this big. That's cheating. That's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> what if the, what if you run out of power? Starlink can't work without power. Well, you got solar. So. <laughs> Look, I got solar. Got and I got solar. mini power. Yeah, you got thousand. What is it? A thousand amp hours here? Eight hundred twenty-four amp hours. Yeah, that's right. Everything prepared, huh? Huh? Yeah. Everything prepared. Yeah. You never go out of power with this one. Yeah, this one has. He overdid it on this. He definitely uh, has way more power than he'll ever need. Mr. Max, how, how did you meet Mr. Lopez? I saw his first video that came out. On YouTube? On YouTube, yeah. Oh, wow. he's, he has just uh, started. Uh, his first project was building the table, the work table. Yeah. And um, and I remember there was no, nothing in here, nothing. It was just his, and I saw his uh, being so honest about his work. And um, it was him, his wife, and his son. All three of them I started, and um, I said, well, that, that's, you know, that's a family business, and he's local and he's honest. So I'm gonna go ahead and deal with him. Deal with him. Yeah. I'm gonna have to move some of this. Yeah, stuff yeah, back. move him. Move whatever you have to move. You want me to put it on the bed? Yeah. What is that, Max? For the tires. You got boots in here. Yeah, I said, you know, if I get it stuck in the mud, I'm gonna take my <laughs> shoes off and, you know. Man, you are prepared, <laughs> yeah. man. You even got a whole set of mud shoes for yeah. it. I said, this way, I don't have to put my, you want me to open these? Uh, no, 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 we don't need to. When the zombies come, Mr. Max, can I come with you? <laughs> How you like the weather? Man, we, that's I why I got you. out the other day. I was like, <laughs> uh, I was like I'm not, we're, we're catching up now to where, you notice there's only two vans in there? Because we're only doing three a year. Well, we're finally catching up to where 
we're gonna be doing a lot more video stuff because I'm gonna be getting out. We're not we're not here on the weekends at all. Awesome. Yeah. You gotta enjoy this stuff, man. Yeah. I, hearing what you said a while ago, I was like, man, that's kind of like. Yeah. A lot of people don't. A lot of people don't hear it. They hear it, but they don't hear it. Yeah. They're listening, but they're not really listening. So all of our stuff's built modular. So basically, um, if we ever need to say these panels get old and ugly, you know, over years of abuse, all we have to do is take the panel off, remake the panel, and it can bolt back in. So we could change, we could theoretically change the whole color of all of the woodwork uh, and not have to have the van here. So say like five, six years, he comes back. And he's like, hey, you know, I've got this thing all scratched up because he was actually using it. <laughs> we could take it, take it off, take every piece off this aluminum module, refinish the pieces or paint them or whatever they want to do and then put them back. But it also allows us, whenever we go to do maintenance, we can get the stuff. Wow. So like right now, he came in because he was going to try to flip a breaker and fix a fuse or something like that. Uh, Said that when he plugged in at home there may be some power surges or something um, so we don't want him to do that he's still under our warranty for uh, for the build so we want to handle it also it gives us a chance to see how this how the how the whole system's doing you know It's like you knew the, the back of it. Well, we built it. It's yeah. custom, but we know it, you know? Yeah. Uh, he was like, oh, my fuse, I think it might be burnt. And then you just went straight to it. Yeah, the thing is, is that I'd rather me do it mm -hmm. than him because he already paid for the bill. He paid for the bill, why should he have to deal with it? Yeah. Like, I can fix it and, you know, It took me two days to get out of uh, Texas. You know, Texas is, takes yeah. about 10, 11 hours. And because of my dog, I, I, you know, I, I drive for about an hour, hour and a half. I have to let him out. You know, he gets agitated. Every couple of hours, I have to stop and let him out for like 20, 30 minutes. So it takes me about a day and a half to get out of Texas. Can you hand me the, oh, here it is. I got it right here. So it took you about a day and a half? Yeah. We got Texas and we went for a straight to Colorado. And uh, we just went to the mountains. We, we enjoyed it, man. Uh, we had stayed there for about a week. And then we went to Utah for Where three, four days. Where did you stay? Days. Were you off grid or? I was off grid, yeah. Any, anywhere I saw a mountain and I saw a dirt road, I went in there. That's freaking Yeah. That was your first trip? That was my first trip. No, that was my second trip. The first trip I went to uh, Inks Lake. You been to Inks Lake? Man, that's a cool. I've been. Did I tell you there about that place? You been to Inks Lake? Yeah. Yeah, I thought I was the one who told you. <laughs> no, I, I knew Inks Lake. You knew it? Yeah. yeah. It's awesome, huh? Yeah. It's did you beautiful. go to the caverns? No, that was the, 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 that's the one next to it. Yeah. Yeah, there is. Uh, the, I've been to cavern before. You like going fishing? You're near by the ocean? I've never been fishing, so I'm trying to learn fishing. Add that to the bucket list. Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah fishing is, is super patient. Like, yeah. whenever you drive somewhere near the ocean, yeah. and you need to let your dog out for a couple hours, you can go fishing a little bit. That's why I got me a fishing rod and everything. I got all that stuff. All I need is just to... Huh? You're going to have to go I have to, yeah. I have to. I've never been fishing in my life. Really? Can we never. take him on Sunday? Never been to fishing. Sunday I got planned. Ah, oh. really? <laughs> but uh, hopefully, yeah, I'm gonna go with my dad tomorrow, and uh, hopefully do good. I don't even care if I catch anything though, as long as I'm. Yeah, I was I was waiting for the you know for you to catch the fish, <laughs> and I kept looking. I says. 
Well, he's gonna catch one. He's gonna catch one. He's gonna catch one. So, Dude, everybody thought. Yeah. It's a bait and switch. Yeah. I thought I was gonna catch a fish too. I was so we were so confident. This is it. All right. This is what it, this is. Uh, because that lady, she she showed hers. Yeah, the that flounder. was a big one. Yeah, the big old yeah. flounder. See, the good thing is when you deal with a with a local business like you know dealing with him. First of all, you don't have to drive it to another state for us any problems. You, you just deal locally, you know. And second of all is, for example, if you deal with the big companies, big, you know, RV companies, when your RV has an issue, you go in line for two, three months. With that him, is true. With him, he tell you bring it in right away. This is not, this is not the first time, it's the second time uh, I brought it in and he, he's done uh, ASAP job, really. So that's what, uh, you know, that's the good thing about dealing with a, a, a local business. Um, and, uh, it really goes out of his way to, you know. Before we, you know, I'll test it real quick. I heard something. Yeah, that's the fan kicking on. Mm-hmm. There it goes. There it is. It's on? Yeah. It so there was a on. negative, huh? Yeah, there was a negative on there. Let me uh let me get a regular manual screwdriver. I'm gonna turn that off before I try to screw it in. And then we'll test, uh, we'll test something DC too before I put it all back together. Pro problem solved. Yep. Woo! Uh, it's a good thing about him is he, you know, anything goes bad, just bring it button right in. And um, I'm glad I'm getting everything ready to get out of here. Go before the, the snow starts in the... <laughs> Upper states. You checked your. You checked your diesel heater. I did. Okay. And it's working. Hey, thanks a lot, man. Thank you for telling us your story, Mr. Good Max. Going. You gonna send me a uh, this? This is his. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Mr. Max. You gonna send uh, me that? What? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll edit it up. When you edit. Thanks, Max. Right, it's good to see you, man. I, I'm so glad you're getting on the road. Oh man, I'm, I'm, I'm. I'm oh, for the third time. Yeah. But this one, man, stay out. Yeah, I will. Don't forget your plug. Oh yeah. Stay out and uh, and use those tires. Get off road. Get off road and. Uh, I'm gonna be climbing mountains. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, it's nice to meet you, Mr. Hey, man. Hang on, that's the same here, man. That's why I wanted thank you, you to come by, cause like you never know what it could be. I could try to explain to you, but it's best just to. No, I'm glad by. I came by and I saw it because now at least I know what's going yeah, on. Yeah. And uh, uh, but I won't touch it. If you know, if something goes wrong, I'll bring it to you. Okay. Sounds good. Hey, thanks right, a lot, man. All right, man. Thanks a lot, man. Hey, thanks. It's good to see you again, man. It was nice meeting you, man. Nice to meet you too, man. Right.